everyone so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a trifold wallet like this one so it has a billfold with no sticky on the bottom it has two vertical pockets a hidden an ID and two horizontal pockets and there are no folded lines on the outside so the materials you're going to be needing are an X-Acto knife. I got mine at Michael's. A pair of scissors, preferably like uh, stronger scissors. Um, a ruler. A metal one is usually best because on plastic ones, you when you cut along the side, it scrapes off bits of the plastic and that's not fun. Uh, you want a cutting mat or a surface that your parents won't get mad at you for cutting up with an X-Acto knife. Uh, this is a Fisker's cutting mat that I got at Michael's and you are also going to need some duct tape. I'm going to be using cherries in red today. Um, if you would prefer, you can also use clear tape and you are also going to need a piece of ID plastic. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cut out two strips of the color that you want your billfold to be, two strips of the color that you want your outside of the wallet to be. And this is also going to be the color that's on the inside. So red is going to be my trim. So they're going to be eight and a fourth inches long each. And you want to take the first strip of your billfold color, line it up on an inch line, And then you want to take your second piece and you want to count up one, two, three, and three fourths, and then place the strip at your three and three fourths inch line. And you want to cover the sticky up with your two pieces of tape. Take the side that uh, has the color that I want the outside to be, and I cut little tiny slits at two and three fourths on the top and the bottom, and then at five and a half. And then I just took the end, took one end and folded it to the two and three fourths inch line and creased it. And then I took the other and just folded it. So it may, so you're going to cut out four strips of each colored tape that are two and a half inches long each. So I'm going to take one of my uh, outside color pieces and one of my uh, trim color pieces and I'm just going to lay them on top of each other to make another one of those the hidden pocket. So you're going to take one piece of your outside color. You're going to line it up on an inch line. You're going to take the second piece and you're going to count out uh, three and three fourths. So one, two, three, and three fourths. And that's where you wanna place the top of your second strip. Your other two pieces and just cover up that sticky. To make two card pockets, you're going to cut out two pieces of each color and they're going to be three and three fourths inches long each. So basically what I did is I just took one strip, flipped it over, and I stuck it to the other piece. Now we are going to do trim. So you're going to cut two pieces, or sorry, uh, one piece that is two and three-fourths inches long. And you're going to want to take your ruler or some kind of straight edge and you want to cut the four inch piece into little half strips little half inch strips so then you should end up with four and then with the two and three fourths inch piece you can just cut that in half one of those two and three fourths inches pieces and you can take one of your short little card pockets and you just line it up however you do trim is totally fine. 
I always do a fourth of an inch. Take the other one and just trim that one. Scissors and just trim it off. With your four inch piece, you can just take two of those half inch strips and put trim on your card pockets. Here is my ID. So it is in between three and a half and three and three fourths of an inch of inches, whatever. And it is in between two and a fourth and two and a half inches tall. And I just took one of those um, half inch pieces from that uh, piece that we cut and I uh, stuck some trim on there. And you have to make sure that um, this is the front side of my ID. You can tell because you can't see sticky on it. So you want it to look like this. All right, so here I have two pieces of tape. The shorter one is three and three fourths. And I just cut that into thirds. And then here I have a piece of uh, my outside color. These both should be your outside color. And it is nine and a fourth inches long. So um, to cut your piece in thirds, you want to take your ruler and you want to line it up on the bottom on the uh, edge of the tape. And then you want to cut your piece there. And then you kind of eyeball your second piece. You want it to be pretty much the same size as the first piece we just cut. And then you should have a leftover piece. It is. Um, so you're going to take one of those three and three fourths inches piece of tape. And uh, we're going to take our hidden pocket and you're going to take your two vertical pockets. It is just barely under um, three and a fourth at the top there. And then your second card pocket is just gonna go right at the bottom. And um, we're not taping any of these pockets, these two vertical pockets. Take one of those um, pieces that we cut and you're just going to overlap it by a quarter of an inch. Oh, and this is on the right side of the pocket. Those to attach the ID later. You're going to take that leftover piece of red trim that I had and you're just going to stick it on one of them. Doesn't matter which one because we're going to align the bottom of the other card pocket. So yeah. And you're going to take your piece and you're going to find that crease again, card pocket down so that the trim lines up with two and a half inches above the edge. And then you wanna take your second card pocket and line it up at the bottom, your hidden pocket and stick it on the other edge And now I'm going to take one of those big long pieces um, and I'm going to overlap this over the card pockets by a fourth of an inch. You don't put this piece on with the ID because then you're going to cover the top of your ID and then you won't be able to um, use your ID. And you can just fold this over and take your ID and um, you're just going to take those two excess pieces that I took off the card pockets and I'm just going to overlap them on my ID by a fourth of an inch. It should look something like this, kind of like a little frame and then you should have sticky on both sides. And now you're going to take your ID and you're going to take your wallet piece and this up. And you're just going to seal that down. I'm going to make sure everything is nicely pressed down. 
So we're going to make the outside of your wallet and you should cut two pieces of your uh, trim or billfold color and they are going to be eight and a fourth inches long and you're just going to overlap them so they uh, line up to be three and three fourths of an inch just like in the beginning. Cut two pieces of nine and a fourth inches and this is going to be your um, outside tape color, whatever you want to say. So uh, you want to take your first piece. You always go bottom to top. That's what I do. So you're going to want to place the strip half an inch down and half an inch to each side. So there should be a lot of sticky hanging over. And you're going to take your second piece and I always overlap it about a fourth. I trim this top piece down here so that there is a quarter of an inch sticky up there. And I'm just cutting the boxes in the corners. You can fold over that quarter of an inch like so. And now we're going to take the wallet piece and you're going to align everything up. I always fold up the bottom first. So then you can open it up and uh, you can see a bit of sticky here. You can take one of those extra pieces and uh, trim them down and cover up your sticky you can trim the bottom and you can fold over your sides and you can trim those too I like to keep them a bit thicker except this one I'm going to trim and tuck in any edges that you need and now the last thing you want to do is just cut little slits where the card pocket is um, covered by tape but you don't want to cut all the way to the edge. You just want to cut a little bit. Uh, this is your final product. So there's no fold over lines. And you have a nice bill fold that has no sticky. You have two vertical pockets, a hidden, an ID, and two horizontal pockets. So thank you so much for watching. And if you make a wallet like this, Send me a video response or a picture on Instagram. And if you'd like to order, uh, email me or kick me or PM me on uh, YouTube as well.